Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the 4-hour chart of gold in front of us. And right now we can see that gold is standing at 1950. We talked about few levels on the chart of gold yesterday and we saw that our support of 1945 to 1946 worked perfectly. We got the bounce we were looking for, market bounce from 1945 level and made a high of almost 1953. So we got what we were looking for and today we have some few levels. So let's discuss one by one. First of all, Gold steady as traders await Powell testimony for rate cues. If we go to economic calendar, you can see that we have Fed Chair Powell testifies. So yes, there will be some volatility during the market in my time zone. The time will be around 7.30 p.m. Please check the time according to your time zone. You can go to any economic calendar, change the time zone and you will get to know okay, at what time he is speaking. So yes, my dear friends, be careful because market will show some volatility. Market may be extremely volatile as a result of which your stop process may not work. There may be some slippages. So it's try to, uh, it's better to close down all your positions, dollar positions before the news if you're a beginner, new trader. Observe the market, gain some experience, but try to avoid the market. And if, an, if you have the experience, then that's a different chapter. Otherwise, it's try better if you avoid the market during the news. If you look at DXY, then yes, my dear friends, DXY also respected our level. We talked about the resistance of 102.57 and we saw that after hitting the level, market came down. Okay. But we can see right now that DXY okay, is not going for a complete downside. So buyers in the market are still very much present and they are trying to take the market up. So we should see some red candles here, small, small red candles here, if not a big drop in the market. Okay. On the other hand, if dollar index tries to recover, then our resistance of 102.72 is still very much present. There will be some sellers that will create some trouble for DXY and they will not allow the market to cross that easily. In case by the European session and at the beginning of the US session, if market tries to show extreme volatility, if market shows a big green candle, then obviously you should avoid 102.72 and your focus should be on the next big resistance of 103. Why 103? Because we can see the trend line is coming down and it is acting as a dynamic resistance for uh, quite some time, for many days and weeks. Along with that, we also have the 50 moving average. So 103 seems to be a good resistance if 102.72 fails. Keep in mind, these levels may not work after the news. Okay, so so dear friends you need to understand that whenever fundamentals dominate the market technicals usually do not work so after after the after the testimony if you see the market is trending you should try to follow the trend of the market but on the other hand if you see that uh, after the testimony market is not showing volatility then you can expect the levels to work so it depends from uh, situation to situation okay so that's all about DXY. Now let's talk about gold. So my dear friends, before news or before testimony, if you see the market is going down, market is coming down, then the previous support of 1945 to 46 is no longer valid for you. The next important support before news is 1941. And in case by the European session, market shows a big drop then your important support will be around 1933 to 1934. So these are the two important support levels where you can expect the buyers to be present, where you can expect the market to lift the price up in case there is a drop in the market. How much you can expect? You can expect 40 to 50 pips, 50 pips 
round number, nice number, you can expect around 50 pips. I'm not talking about a trend reversal here, but at least you can expect a bounce of 50 pips. Right now, I'm doing the analysis on the 4 hours time frame. You don't need to watch the 4 hours time frame. Just simply switch to 1 hour time frame, 15 minutes time frame. Once you'll see the market is taking support around these areas, 1941 level. If when it, you'll see the market is taking support, market is showing price rejection from below, we'll give you the confirmation that yes, buyers are present and you can go for a buy. Similarly, if you see market is showing price rejection from below, around 33, 34 level, you can go for a buy. So these are the two support levels on the chart of gold before the news. Okay. And in case there is this big drop in the market, then obviously the previous low of 1924 to 1925 is also present in the market as well. But I don't think so market will be heading towards 1924-25 before the testimony. After the news, okay, nobody knows what will happen. So be careful. And on the other hand, if market starts uh, going up from here, because already market has taken support. If market starts going up from here, and obviously you can expect the resistance levels that we have been discussing for the last couple of days to work. But the problem is that those levels are far away because this is a sideways market, it is a choppy market. Obviously, there will be multiple levels. So the strongest <coughs> resistance it's still around 1983 level. In fact, 1983 looks to be a good level. So we can expect that after news also, if gold tries to recover, if gold shows an upside, 1983 may work as resistance. 1983 is the best level before and after news. But as the level is far away, we have some levels around 1972. Yes, 1972, 73 is still there. Then we also have... <coughs> 1967 uh, to 1969 but keep in mind my dear friends these two levels are only applicable before news they will not work after news because see all the levels in the market do not have the equal amount of strength so before <clears throat> before um, the testimony if market shows volatility good upside then you can expect some Sellers will be present, they will reverse the market. If market reverses, we can look for a sell position. But as the volatility of the market is not very high right now, you can see the market is very low volatile. So before news, you can also observe the market around 1956.50 to 1959.50. So before news, you can also observe the market around this area. You can see that I have drawn a level here. 1956.50, 1959.50. is a level before news, not a very strong one, but in this present condition where the volatility of the market is low, you can expect that market may face some selling pressure. If market shows... <coughs> Price rejection from above, we can also look for a quick sell opportunity around this area. Expected pips 40 to 50 again. But my dear friends, keep in mind this is not a very strong level, weak level that may perform before news when the volatility of the market is low. Volatility of the market, yeah, as I always say, plays a big role. So that's all from my side. These are the trading opportunities that I see on the chart of gold right now. Be careful with um, after the news market may be extremely volatile. Your stock losses may not work. So do not gamble with your hard earned money. Follow proper risk management. This is my unless I can be wrong as well. So do not trade blindly. Do your own research as well. Bye bye. Take care.